this is Brian B with the Move of the Week, and this week we are doing this by request. We had a request in the YouTube comments to cover some uh, footwork variations. So we're going to go through some basic patterns and do a bunch of variations. So we'll just dance through a bunch. We have right side pass. We have a variation that goes in front. We have one that over rotates and goes behind. Off a sugar push we can do a side rock. We can stall out on a whip. We can sweep off of a tuck type pattern. So let's break that down real quick. Off of my anchor step, right, if I were to do a right side pass, one, two, three, and four, I've got a couple of different options, especially if I leave myself under rotated, so I haven't completely squared off, but I'm under rotated, we both have an available rock in front anchor for our triple. So if we do that again, we leave ourselves under rotated, so I'm not squared up, so we can rock in front. That actually can be done either independently, where Emily does it and I don't, or where I do it and Emily doesn't. Cool? Then we can over rotate this. One, two, three, and four. We can over rotate five and six. Square back up. One, two, three, and four, five and six. We can also side rock. One, two, three, and four. We can rock five and six. Yes? So we do that all from behind. Square. We can rock in front. We can rock away. Oh, I'm sorry, over rotated. Bang! We have the side rock variation. Cool, and we have the sweep variation. Right side pass like normal. Let's put Emily back to the camera. The other thing I like to do off of the sweep variation is change the angle in the slot. So we can do stuff like this. We can do a tuck turn, and as I sweep, I'm going to sweep and step myself out of the slot. So Emily stays in the slot, so now I create a little bit of an angle and a dynamic. Yes? So if I do it off a of passing tuck, same thing. I can sweep, and I've taken myself out of the slot, so I'm able to play back in the slot. Yes? The final one we did was off of a whip type pattern where I was going to either sweep as the guy, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So in lieu of the three and four, right? One, two, normally three and four, five, six, seven, eight. I sweep three, step four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I haven't been looking down, so I don't know what Emily's feet have been doing. But the girl is also able to do a stall. I'll do regular footwork and she's going to stall out on the three and step on the four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we do that on the reverse side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So there are a couple of, oh wait, we forgot one more, one more. On the one, two, we don't always have to walk down the slot. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. We can hang out in a connection on the one, hitch for one, and we can step and two, three, and four, five, and six. One, and two, three, and four, five, and six. That's a little trick here, requires a little bit of a connection, a way to hold on to that one, and two, two, three, and four, but it's quite cool where we can start to play with a couple different variations. And there's your move of the week.